Huh? No error? I don't know. <laughs> now I'd curse my bad guy. Okay. Konnichiwa. Watashiwa Jimidus. Welcome back to the only series on YouTube where a fully qualified English teacher fails at answering Japanese university entrance exams. Uh, now, I'm a bit more zoomed in today. This is my face. Uh, normally you have some torso as well, but uh, new camera, new microphone. Hopefully everything sounds a bit better. Maybe it looks a bit better as well. Uh, Who's to say? We'll find out as the video goes on. So, this week, today, we are answering the questions for Kyoden University Medical Department. We have 10 questions, uh, and we just have to find the error as normal. So, question one. We had a more hot summer than usual. There should be a good crop of green soybeans. So, uh, the error here fairly easy, I think. Um, all about comparatives is two, which is more hot. Uh, the sentence should be, we had a hotter than usual summer. Uh, there should be a good crop of green soybeans. So yeah, the error is number two, hotter. Question number two. It was not until I got sick, but I realized how it felt to be ill. Um, and was sad. Easy, again, very easy. Uh, well, I think so. The answer again, number two, uh, which is but. It should be that. I realized how it felt to be ill. Uh, so it's just your little words that you need to put in, little grammatical words. Um, just make sure you've got the right one. Question number three. My father-in-law was a great soccer fan. For example, he liked the way... <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> Ivica Osim? Ivica Osim? The manager handling the team. The answer they're looking for is for, which is handling. It should be handled, past tense. Um, but also, I would say two is wrong as well. Uh, great soccer fan. I think, technically, it's correct. But I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't call somebody a great soccer fan. In the UK, it's football fan. Football in the UK, soccer in the US. I would say a big soccer fan or an extreme soccer fan. I don't think great sounds very natural in this sentence. So be aware of that. But it's not wrong. It just sounds weird. Uh, the answer, though, is for handled the team. Past tense. Okay, question number four. This is the laptop computer that I repaired last week. It is about time to replace it for another one. Okay, so... <laughs> the title and the instructions of this paper are in Japanese. I can't read Japanese. I don't know if there's an option for no error, but if there is an option for no error, question four has no error. <laughs> this is the laptop computer that I repaired last week. Yes, fine. It is about time to replace it for another one. That sounds fully correct to me. So I'm gonna say no error for this one. I don't know if that's an option because I can't read the instructions. <laughs> now I'd curse my bad Japanese. Okay. Uh, question number five. The people inhabiting in the area for a long time are admirable because they know how to live in harmony with nature. Uh, fairly easy. Uh, the answer is one, inhabiting in a uh, wrong verb. You should use living in the area. Um, inhabiting it has a different meaning, more scientific. If you... I don't even know how to describe it. If you inhabit an area, you live in it. 
but inhabiting continuous form I don't think exists. So, okay, maybe it's not as easy as I thought, but the, the error is one inhabiting should be living in. Uh, well, question number six. You should take more care of yourself. Have you taken a medical checkup recently? Uh, one of the many questions I ask my girlfriend on a daily basis. <laughs> okay, m medium difficulty question. Not super hard, but not super easy. Um, Anosa three taken. It should be had. Have you had a medical checkup recently? Um, as I said, medium difficulty question. Okay, question number, I've lost count, seven. There are rarely, if never, any convincing answers to such difficult but meaningful philosophical questions as what is happiness or what is health? What is happiness? Happiness is playing Legends of Runeterra every day, all day, since it's come out. That's my happiness, anyway. Um, the answer, okay, quite difficult. Yeah, this question's quite difficult. The answer is number two, if never. And the reason being that it should be if ever. So if you don't spot that one letter, it's quite a difficult question. So it should be, uh, there are rarely, if ever, any convincing answers, etc. So here, the answer is two, if ever. Question number eight. According to a survey, Papua New Guinea boasts no more than 832 different languages. Huh? No error? No error. According to a survey, Papua New Guinea boasts no more than 832 langu different languages. So, hard question. I would say three is wrong. Uh, no more than 832 different languages, but I also think it could be no error if no error is an option Thanks to my bad Japanese. I don't know, but it makes sense No more than 832 different languages, but I think in this context it should be no less than 832 different languages to be 100% correct But it makes sense so you can use it, that's fine. Question number nine. Uh, Winston Churchill told, success is the ability to go from failure to failure without losing your enthusiasm. Famous quote from Winston Churchill, the British leader during World War II. He did not told that he said that. Uh, so the answer here, fairly easy use of verb again, uh, should be said, not told. And question number 10. We hope your hard work will pay off and one day you will be a doctor of excellent and integrity. Easy, very easy question. Uh, answer number four, excellent. That is the adjective. Uh, it should be the noun, excellence and integrity. Very easy, word class. And that is all for Curian University Medical Department. Uh, next week I'll give you a little insight as to what we're doing. Uh, we are looking at this year's Center Shiken. So, I was told that the Center Shiken is like uh, SAT tests in the UK, which are like school tests. So that's going to be extra embarrassing if I don't know how to work those out. Anyway, um, thank you very much for watching this week. Hopefully you've enjoyed slightly better mic quality and my face. And I will see you again next week. Uh, sayonara. Be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. See you next time. Take care.